I'm Jackie, I'm in U2, and I run BPCOM. So the reason I want to do BPCOM specifically is because I think that I have a lot of technical skills that would complement the position. So the past year I was BBCOM from Pow, so I know about using MailChimp for newsletters, I know about using WordPress for web design, so I don't have a lot of experience, but I wanted to give back to Civil and sort of build a sense of community, and I think that communication can really help increase participation at events. So your first question, uh, what will you do to make communication more effective amongst the members of the CQS? Right, so I think that we all have pretty short attention spans, and I think we're also all really busy. So one thing I want to do is keep the newsletter really brief, have it be aesthetically pleasing, graphics, short information. If you're interested, link it to the website. And I think the website is um, something that we can use a bit more effectively to have longer descriptions if you have the time and if you're interested, whereas keep the newsletter short and also use Facebook to complement that as sort of a reminder of events that are happening that day or the next day. Um, so sort of using all these tools that we have, but using them more effectively. Uh, do you think there are communication media with high potential that the CQS Council is not exploring or is currently using inefficiently? If so, what are they and how do you plan to use them to their full potential? Okay, so I think that the website is beautiful, but I think that it's very inaccessible and I don't think that people really check it. I didn't really look at it until I applied for this position, to be honest. Um, so, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, one thing I think that we can do is make it more interactive. So I want to add like videos of like lab tours and older students talking about their specific streams of civil engineering, because I think that's something that younger students struggle with. Um, and another thing I want to do is, I know we've talked a lot about class announcements. I think it would be really effective if the, the reps could work with the profs to put up slides at the end of class. So not at the beginning, because it might be disruptive, but at the end of class, the profs are usually around for five, 10 minutes. They put up a slide with the weekly announcements. Um, the U reps, the U2 reps, whatever, you one, two, three, work with the profs to find one who will accommodate that. Um, so I think that's one, another thing we can do. Awesome. And final question, what qualities and experiences do you have that would make you interested? Okay, so um, as I mentioned before, I was BPCOM for POW, so I have a lot of the time management organization skills. You need to be on top of what's happening in the weeks to come. You need to know how to compile it all. You're sifting through tons and tons of emails, Facebook events, so really compiling it all to make it easier for the students. Um, and also you have to have sort of a creative side, so I really enjoy film, graphic design, um, web design, so those skills as well would help the position. Does anyone have any questions? Call them? Yes. Civil column? Yes. Okay, I'll be honest, no one really reads it. Really? I read it. I read it. It's, it's, no, no. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, okay. like students no, like me that don't read it, okay. how would you, like what kind of, because you talked about you wanted to be more interactive, more pictures yeah. and videos, right? So, but the first place is, is it's an email. How would you encourage like, students to like read the, like, okay, the cool. message that you want so, to So why don't you read it right now? Because I think it's more like, because email for like work and stuff. I'll read Facebook for like events like this. Okay, well, I well, I think like maybe that's just your personal opinion because I know that I read the newsletters. So I think it, it's hard. It's obviously hard with communication because everyone uses different like different streams. So that's why I agree. Like, of course, you use Facebook for sort of upcoming events and like when it's closer to when you see because Facebook actually is more instant. Um, the newsletter, I guess, is for people who want want more want to know things further in advance. Um, also, something that I don't think are as appropriate for Facebook. Um, I mean, you could do things, but you don't want to like really like harass people as much on Facebook. So I think that the the newsletter can be for people who are more invested in knowing what's happening in the weeks to come, whereas Facebook more instant. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Well, I got the thing. How do I unsubscribe from the phone? Um, can you scroll down to the bottom? Oh, you can unsubscribe. Yeah, you can unsubscribe. Cool. <laughs> it's like but you won't want it next year. I no, 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 it's, it's fine. It's fine. I don't read it, so they can just sad. I need to make sure. So everything that's in. Um, no, go ahead. We'll do Mary first and then John and Billy. So all the events that are in the civil column, they're going to be also on Facebook? So yes, yeah, so I think that the idea would be that upcoming events, so things like swag that's coming up, um, like socials, things like that, like weekly things would go in the column, whereas more like if you're trying to publicize something and it's happening that day, posting it on Facebook is, I think, a good way to draw on people the day of, because I don't want to spam people with emails, like I wouldn't be sending out newsletters every day, that's more of like a weekly thing, um, and then again, and then the website would be more for ongoing things, internships, opportunities, go there. 
Okay, so I noticed that the civil column is sent from Anadolu. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So my question is, why is it sent from Anna and why not instead of the BB column? Normally that's not a problem, but the thing is, sometimes I, I notice that um, the, the date of the event is passed since Anna sent it. So, um, like, why why is it going through Anna? Can it be sent through the BB column instead so we can avoid that issue? Okay, um, that's a great question. I actually don't specifically know why it's sent through Anna. It might be a departmental thing. I know for POW, we actually do just send it through through the Gmail. So if we're on Gmail with um, the CUS, there is definitely a way that, like when I send out the newsletter for POW, I just send it out instantly and it's out within five minutes. So I think that that's definitely something we could work towards, if mm -hmm. possible. Um, like I can answer the questions because I've tried for like a few years to get the emails. It's just that the department doesn't want to give out student emails anymore to the, like, the like, student society. So, um, from my understanding, like all the engineering departments, they have to send it through their advisor to get it out. Like, because because like a few years ago, like two or three years ago, they stopped giving us emails. Like they used to give us all the emails, um, and then they used to send them out of uh, our Gmail, but they changed their policy, and they don't want to give it. Out. But there might be. There might yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably right. something I could work with Anna um, yeah. on. It's just saying like I'll have it ready by Sunday night if you can check it over and send it up Monday or what when it is, but just establishing a timeline so that it is more um, reliable. Sure. Okay. Um, so we'll have the questions there and answer the questions.